everybody. Welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you liked the Kuwait episode. All right, so you know the deal. Every time before we start, I got to fix up the mistakes that I made in the country episode. Number one, the demographics graph was a complete mess. The percentage was completely off. I went overboard to 110%. I meant to say 37%, not 47% for the expats. And also, I accidentally said India twice. I meant to say India and Indonesia. But in my defense, come on, they both start with I-N-D. So it's like in And also, I think this is not the correct picture of Saleh al Ajiri. He's a famous uh, Kuwaiti astrophysicist. Anyway, I think those were the biggest mistakes. I think there's a few more, but eh, whatever. I, those were the biggest ones. All right, now we can go on. Without further ado... <laughs> Ah, uh, Kuwait was such a fun episode to film because, you know, it's like one of those countries that's a little obscure, you don't know too much about it, but they have been in the headlines and the news a few times, but so you kind of need to brush up, but otherwise they kind of remain a little obscure. It's those quiet kids in the class that you gotta keep your eyes on. Alright, flag time! The flag of Kuwait is a horizontal tricolor of green, white, and red with a black trapezoid on the left or hoist side. This makes Kuwait the only fully recognized sovereign country with a flag that incorporates a trapezoid on it. The colors, of course, utilize the pan-Arab colors, or red, white and green and black. However, many might also say that they are inspired off a poem written in 13th century by this guy. The green for the fields of the Arabs and the land, the black standing for the battles they faced and the defeat of the enemy, the white for the purity of their deeds, and the red stands for... Specifically though, the red stands for the blood on the swords, but it was... It's, it's it's blood. It's still it's still blood. Once again, you guys know who made that animation. It was Ken. Thank you, Ken. Follow him on Instagram. Ken, I appreciate you so much. I will not fire you this week. You've survived another round. Now, keep in mind, Kuwait was under a few other flags before this one, as mentioned in the Kuwait episode. They were a protectorate of the UK for a while, and were under this flag. And prior to that, they are under a bunch of crescent and star flags with a red field. But yeah, that's about it for their flags. Now, we move on to the coat of arms, which is not a coat of arms. It's an emblem. The emblem of Kuwait contains a golden falcon, the national bird, expanding its wings in a circular fashion around a disc image of the sea with a traditional boom sailing ship with the words emblem of Kuwait written above it. Yeah, the emblem has the word emblem written on it. As well as a vertically draped Kuwaiti flag and a shield shape below the falcon. The falcon represents Quraysh, the tribe that the Prophet Muhammad belonged to, whereas the boat symbolizes the historical maritime tradition of the country long before in its beginning stages. Prior to this, they also had two other emblems from the protectorate years. They incorporated the old flag of Kuwait and they also had like a hawk. One one of them even had a crown. But yeah, after independence, this one was created and it stands today. All right, so that's about it. That means you know what time it is? Geography fan mail time. Okay guys, the last time we did this was for the South Korea episode. It was a while ago. And since then, the mail has been piling up dramatically. Let me show you. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is all of it. It's a lot. So I'm gonna try to put as much as I can on camera right now. However, I'm not gonna have a lot of time to elaborate on each piece. You're only gonna get a few seconds of screen time, but I'm gonna try to get as much as I can, okay? All right, like usual, we're gonna start with postcards. Reese, who is Scottish but visited Iceland and sent this. Joel, who is from Minnesota, sent the Cathedral of St. Paul in Minnesota. I grew up close to this, by the way. Timon from Germany visited New York. It's so weird, like you guys are from different countries from the postcards that you send. Uh, Kanishka sends this from Sri Lanka. Oh, that's pretty cool. Georgia and Alistair send this from China, but it's like a cathedral in China. I think your name is Fiel. You send this from Bonn, Germany. Uh, Thomas sends this from the National Galleries of Scotland. Uh, Pedro is from, I believe, Brazil, but he's visiting Norway and he sent this cool postcard of Viking laws. Levi sends this cool wildlife of Arizona postcard. Uh, Ziga sends this from Slovenia. And this is really cool. Bradley, who is from Baltimore, Maryland, he actually visited Antarctica and he even had the Antarctica McMurdo Station pa uh, stamp. That is so cool. I've never gotten anything from Antarctica. All right, now we're gonna do letters. Start off with letters from my own fellow countrymen. Mia from Kansas sends this really cool uh, picture of various flags and she sent a uh, postcard of a Shoshone woman, a na native tribe here in the U.S. I really want to do like a video highlighting like the native tribes of uh, of the USA because I feel like they really need to be highlighted more. It's, I, yeah, yeah, thanks for the inspiration. Uh, Mary from Chicago. She has done a lot of traveling and sent bank notes of the various places she's visited. Ava from Louisiana. Thank you for your card and talking about your Cajun culture. And Spencer from Humboldt County, California. Thank you for your letter and your book recommendation. And 
Uh, this is cool. Eric from Massachusetts. Thank you for sending this patch of the flag of Zaire. Yeah, uh, this used to be a country back. I, I was I was alive when this was a country. And uh, Timothy from Florida. Thank you for your awesome flag drawings. All right, now we go international. Santiago, who is Colombian. These uh, snacks. A uh, dos mil peso banknote. These are amazing postcards. He also visited Panama City. You know, we have a very small community of Colombians here in Los Angeles, and it's so crazy. Like every time I meet Colombians, I'm just like, how are you that attractive? It's like almost a Legal. I feel like I should call the cops on you. You can't be that attractive. Anyway, moving on. Justine from Romania. Beautiful Romanian postcards and a book of all the UNESCO heritage Romanian sites. I've met very few Europeans that love their countries as much as like Romanians. There are some, but man, Romanians, you love Romania. Henry, who is a Kiwi, but he lives in Singapore. He sends all these little trinkets and banknotes and coins from his various travels. Oh, cool little Ireland and Italy erasers. And uh, he traveled to Cambodia, all these cool postcards. Speaking of ocean, Thomas from Australia created his own country called Terra Aquilinus. He made his own flag and everything. That's cool. Uh, Matus from Czechia, but he was visiting his neighbors in Slovakia and sent these cool postcards. Francisco, who is Peruvian, is, uh, very proud of his Peruvian heritage. But interestingly enough, he also sent a bunch of North Korea stuff as well. Eva from Czechia, who lives in Czechia, sent me a bunch of Czechia souvenirs, including this uh, magnet and all these postcards. Cool. Thanks. Rafael, who is Spanish. Spanish, but lives in Germany. He wrote a letter and basically at the end he says he wants me to use the pun Can I do something Spainful to you? <laughs> I will probably use that. Here, I'll punch myself for the end. Let's see, we got Mahdi who is Pakistani and sent a Pakistani flag. Uh, I don't think you wrote your name, but you sent this from the Netherlands and it has like a Krampus in the middle. Happy holidays. Yeah, that's how late we're doing these videos. Wow. Uh, Timothy from the Philippines. He sent these cool Filipino stamps. Stamps. Of course, a little uh, Philippines flag. And we got another Filipino, Dave from the Philippines. Oh, this is so cool. He sends uh, one of the old Filipino scripts. For those who don't know, prior to the Latin script, the Philippines actually had a few indigenous scripts that they used to write in. They're almost extinct, but few people still use them. And this is one of them. That's so cool. A lot of info on the Philippines. An amazing picture of the Philippines that he drew. And this is really cool. Uh, Ge Geert? I think that's how you pronounce your name. From Belgium. He had a bunch of really cool antique coins from Belgium. And he did like these pencil shaving tracings of the coins. Yeah, that's really cool. Bel old Belgian shaving copy coins. All right, package time. Fernando from Hong Kong. Well, of course, he has to send Hong Kong flags, but he also sent a Macau flag. I don't think I have Macau yet. That's so cool. I love this. <laughs> I saw a picture of these before. It's hilarious. Colon! Nah, uh, it's like cologne. Uh, egg tart flavored snacks. I know this sounds kind of funny, but it, these are, these are, these are real thing. And then, yeah, yeah, Hong Kong. Eric from Slovakia. Oh boy. Tons of, oh, 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 oh a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm guessing these are all Slovakian, like, chocolates and snacks. Peanut corn puffs. You guys know I'm very strict with my diet, so I probably won't eat most of these, maybe I'll give them to my friends. Of course, a Slovak flag. He also sends these Slovak postcards and keychain and cool souvenirs. <gasps> Borovichka, Slovak alcohol. You guys know that I love uh, liquor. I'm not a beer guy. I don't do beer, but I like liquor. It doesn't blow you up and it hits you harder faster. By the way, guys, here at Geography Now, we do not condone underage drinking. If you are a child, do not drink. And even if you are of age, use your best discretion. Don't go crazy, okay? Nobody likes a drunky monkey. But yeah, I do love my occasional, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I gotta, I'm sorry. I gotta try a little bit right now. Whoa, wow. I, I don't know. It has like herbs in it or something. Weird. Eric, I don't even think, you didn't even write a letter. You just sent a ton of stuff. Well, Eric, uh, either way, I appreciate it. Uh, see, we got Jonathan, who is Israeli-American. He sends a ton of uh, Israeli chocolates and snacks. Uh, he sent the Hebrew alphabet. And he drew this, Barbie's Balkans. I guess this little guy is me. Uh, we got Jeva, who is from Texas. Of course, a Texas flag. Postcard of the family and some places they've been to. Uh, I believe you guys are Indian Americans living in Texas. And uh, you are Christian, too. And there's actually a book that Jeva wrote. It's actually a very beautiful book. It's, it's about how one of her daughters passed away and how she's in heaven. I really appreciate this and I, I thank you. It's a, it's a beautiful book. You, di you did an amazing job with this book, Jeba. All right, got two boxes from Australia. Stephanie, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Uh, that's how late we are with these things. She is a Chinese Indonesian living in Perth. She says if I go to Australia, I should go to check out Perth. Dude, I think Perth really is like one of the most underrated cities in Australia. There's these uh, cool postcards and the black swan, which is like, uh, I guess, a very iconic animal. Oh, a shirt. 
<laughs> I'm actually a big deal in Slovenia. I'm like, why did she send me a flag of Slovenia? And it's you, you were listening to what I said in my other pre- Oh my god, this is, this is genius. I think, I think, um, it's a little too big for me. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the sleeves and make it into a workout t-shirt. This is so good. This is such a cool gift. Neil from Victoria. He sends this, uh, 2018 calendar. You know, various pieces of artwork from Australians. And Tim Tams! You know, we actually do sell these here in the US, but I don't I don't think we have the double coat version, so I think we only have the original and like maybe one other one. And finally, our last box is from Denmark. Uh, my name is Martin. I'm from Denmark. I've been watching your channel since the bees. I remember Benin. He visited the 2017 World's Fair in Astana, Kazakhstan, and he brought a bunch of stuff back from it. Oh, that's cool. Like a uh, Jordan, Chile. And he sent a bunch of uh, Danish birthday stuff with a bunch of Danish flags. Even Danish wrapping paper. And uh, Danish chocolates. Dude, this is like the th Thinnest chocolate I've ever seen in my life. All right guys, that was the last one, but before we go, you know what time it is. It's time for a return address contest. I put all your return addresses in this bag and I pick one out and whoever wins, I send a little gift to. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna grab one. Let's see, I'll grab like a small paper one. Emma from Illinois, you just won. Actually, no, you're the Emma that made, I think, I remember you. You're the one that made my pillowcase, the Emma. You won, and thank you for making this. So glad you won, because you're you're cool, Emma. Okay, guys, this was amazing. I love putting your countries and hometowns and home countries on display. It's amazing. It, this is so fun. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like, and uh, stay tuned. Stay cool. Have a good one.